Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, produce and engineer my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this podcast is all about spirituality, metaphysics, shadow work and so, so much more. So for this video, I actually wrote this topic idea down a few months ago. I can't even think when it was because I have a long, long list of video ideas. And I wrote this a couple months ago when I was going through a difficult situation. And even though I'm not in that situation anymore, I feel like this is still so relevant to the majority of people in life. And that's that when you're walking the spiritual path and the self-awareness and shadow work path, and you're trying to elevate and grow and evolve, oftentimes it means that a lot of people have to leave your life. And sometimes people leave your life even when you're not really wanting them to or like you didn't expect it maybe you didn't see it come in or maybe you had a disagreement and then you realize that there's actually a much much deeper issue underlying this surface level situation you know and it can turn out that actually you've outgrown them or that you've just grown in different directions like it doesn't necessarily mean anyone's better than the other or that anyone's done anything wrong it could just be that you've simply realized that you're actually heading in different directions and that you're not wanting the same things or not valuing the same things and I feel like when this happens so much fear can come up so much uncertainty so much doubt and kind of like triggering your level of trust within yourself you know so you can start questioning whether this is the right decision and maybe even doubting yourself and whether to trust your actual intuition on what it's telling you and maybe even you'll mistake your intuition for like fear or something you know like it can spark a lot of different thoughts and beliefs and trauma essentially and coping mechanisms <laughs> like there's so many words for all of this because it can just spark so many things and trigger so many wounds but obviously the main thing that I've experienced in myself is it's the sadness and the fear and the resistance to not wanting to let them go because maybe they've been in your life a while or maybe even deeper than that, like maybe it's romantic and you really don't want to let them go out of fear. And there could be a million fears surrounding that, you know, like codependency, fear of being alone, all kinds of different things. Maybe you just genuinely love the person, genuinely care about them and there's nothing wrong whatsoever, but you've just realised that you want different things. Like they could be an incredible person, but if you want different things, then it's not going to work. Do you know what I mean? Like you're not going to be in alignment. You're not going to be able to communicate and um, be on the same page with certain things, especially when it comes to a romantic. Because I feel like with friendships, you can be wanting different things out of life and still be friends and still chat and catch up every now and then but when it comes to like more of an inner circle kind of thing you need to be on the same page you need to be going in the same direction you know you need to actually be in vibrational alignment for those types of connections to thrive and to be able to be your authentic self you need somebody that allows you that freedom and space to do so so when you're dealing with somebody that you've outgrown or you're growing in different directions it can be quite sad to let them go and almost like a bit of pill to swallow you know like it can be quite a difficult truth to accept the fact that this is not actually working and that they're not in alignment anymore and so many emotions can get triggered with that so I feel like it's important to actually acknowledge and acknowledge how you feel about this situation and um, give yourself that nurturing space to allow yourself to grieve because any type of separation no matter what it is and who it is and what kind of dynamic it was it can still feel like a death it can feel like a, a, a huge piece of yourself and a huge piece of your life is removed or missing so a lot of grief can come up with that and it's like a, a huge healing process and acceptance process this is another thing that I've had to go through in myself in so many different situations but especially heartbreak and those kind of separations is like the grieving process that comes up and accepting that that person had to leave your life for a reason whether you like it or not kind of thing and oftentimes we don't like it and it can trigger a lot of resistance and stuff. But ultimately, if that person is not in vibrational alignment, then it does not matter how hard you try. It does not matter how much work you put in or how much you communicate and all of that kind of stuff. If you're not actually in vibrational alignment and they're not meeting you where you are and you're not able to be your authentic self, then 
is it really worth it? Do you know what I mean? Like, is it actually a connection that you want and value if you're not truly able to be yourself and to live your soul mission? Like, some for some people, your soul mission can lead you in so many different directions. Like, for me, it's being public and talking about these kind of things. And for you, it could be so many different things. But obviously, if somebody is not in alignment with me doing this, then it's just not going to work because this is who I am. You know, like this is a huge part of who I am. It's a huge part of why I'm here. And if I'm not able to do that around whoever the person is, then it's just not going to be a connection that I can keep in my life. And I feel like for a lot of us, we keep these types of people around out of fear for way longer than what they need to and in some cases way longer than they actually deserve to be around and way longer than they deserve to have access to you and your energy because they're not actually supporting you they're not helping you grow they're not empowering you they're not pushing you to be the best version of you they're not encouraging you know they don't honor who you are and your divine sovereignty or anything like that they just want to mold you into their idea of what they want you to be and whatever their needs are you know and this can lead to self-sacrifice and all kinds of things like that where you have to cater to somebody else and you have to like shrink yourself and adjust yourself and change yourself just to fit their expectations and their mold so that they react to you positively so that they treat you with respect like so that they actually respond and react to who you are in a positive way and so that you get the acceptance that you're looking for you know if you have to change yourself in order to be accepted by the person then clearly they ain't the one even if it's a friend or a family member then clearly they're not actually on the same wave as you and that doesn't even mean that you have to cut them off completely but I feel like it's a case of actually discerning like okay where does this person fit in my life Maybe we're compatible in some areas, but not in others. So they can be a friend that I see every now and then. And then another person might be somebody that you're just completely not compatible with whatsoever and they need to be cut off completely. And then there might be another person that's like a family member or something that you decide to just see on occasion. Like it's more of an acquaintance, even though it's family, because of the fact that you just don't get on and you just don't vibe and you don't have anything in common and that kind of thing, you know? Like I feel like it's okay to actually put people in certain positions in our life instead of trying to get one person to fulfill everything and all of the areas and just being able to discern what it is that you want and who you are so that you know when somebody's in alignment and when they're not and so that you know which position they get to be in in your life because really it ultimately comes down to you taking care of yourself and your needs and what you want out of life so that you can put yourself in environments that actually support that and that help you thrive instead of bringing you down and making you doubt yourself and making you like feel like you have to change and all of that kind of thing you know if something constantly belittles you and makes you feel like you can't be who you are then it's really just not for you there's no other way to wrap it up and put a bow on it kind of thing like there's no other way to describe it if they make you change in ways that is not authentic then it's not a connection for you and I know this can be a difficult thing to accept especially when it comes to your spiritual views and beliefs and maybe what career path you want to take or your lifestyle and things like that it can be a difficult thing to accept but at the end of the day it's kind of more draining to keep them around than it is to cut them off and face the fear. Like the fear can be absolutely terrifying and crippling, but then so can keeping them around. That can be exhausting and just like soul destroying. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like the the cons of having to face the fear actually outweighs the horrible cons of like dealing with their energy and their vampirism so even though it's a difficult one and it may take you time to actually grieve the relationships and the separation and you may even go back and forth in a bit of a cycle of like having them in your life and removing them I've definitely done that but gradually you will learn your own self-worth I feel like that's what it comes down to is your self-worth and putting your own self-respecting values above that person and above whoever they are and what they want and what they need you're putting you first you're putting who you are and what you need and what you want and what's good for you as a priority over what anyone else has to say or do or what they want or anything like that you know just putting yourself first and your needs so that you can 
create the life that you want and then have supportive empowering people around you that actually uplift you and encourage you and want you to be the best version of you and want the best for you and want to see you succeed rather than constantly pulling you down and trying to like cling on to you and keep you in a box that fits them do you know what I mean and as always we just take this one day at a time we ride the wave of emotions when they come we go through the grieving process we go through the acceptance process and all of the different levels that will come up when you're dealing with a separation and eventually you will come out the other side and you'll actually probably look back and be like wow for one thing I can't believe I tolerated that bullshit that was not even healthy and I didn't even realize how unhealthy it was because I was so used to being in it I couldn't even see it and then two look at how much has come into my life since I've cleared that old people and old stuff out and made room for so much new to come in you know and eventually I feel like we come to accept that things happen for a reason and that people need to leave for a reason even when in those moments we don't actually like it and we're kind of a bit scared about it but in the long run it does pay off to really pay attention to your intuition and to actually honour what it is that you want and what it is that you need for the benefit of yourself and your own life you know so i hope this episode was helpful thank you so much for listening on the podcast apps as well as watching on youtube definitely check out the description box below for all links to my music my crystal jewelry this is my necklace um, my phone number because i do send daily spiritual inspirational pictures and videos and messages as well as everything else about me all in the description box below and i will see you in the next episode bye oh, good.